To me, I mean, you have to give a certain credit to, uh, to West Coast bands as well. Um, Black Flag was never really my thing, not to take anything away from them. But to me, hardcore and New York are synonymous. There's no hardcore without New York. And um, in my lifetime, there's no, uh, there's no um, New York without hardcore. By the time that we got to New York, there was this whole tone that like, hardcore's over, crossover was getting big, um, you know, Agnostic Front Cause for Alarm record came out, you know, Anthrax started hanging out at CBGB, so there was this whole kind of thing of like, metal was coming in, and hardcore wasn't cool anymore. I was interested in hardcore, I wanted to hear Minor Threat, I wanted to hear Negative Approach, I didn't want to hear, you know, the, the metal version of that. We were falling into it too, you know. Death Before Dishonor was like starting to write metal riffs. We even did like, uh, you know, uh, Iron Maiden's Run to the Hills as a cover. We had a second guitar player who was purely from a metal background. Uh, never heard of like a punk rock fucking band ever, you know? And it was, it was ridiculous, you know? Like we played and he's like playing with his teeth and shit. And he's, he's got like this, electronic like ray gun that makes a noise and he's putting it putting it up against his pickups and shit fucking ridiculous man and I, I remember playing drums and shit and I'm just I wish this would just be over now like I I never wanted to get off stage more than I did that day once that gig was over I uh, I cut out I just went back home and I just stopped going to shows I really felt that I you know I betrayed the scene that you know got me through these, my young years and shit, and I disrespected it, and I hated myself for it. And I stayed away from music, I stayed away from New York, stayed away from bands totally. I loved the real simple hardcore. That was my like favorite thing. I loved noisy, loud, really brutal. So when everything started going crossover, um, Gnostic and the Crumb Suckers and stuff like that, I just said, you know what? The world needs someone just to like represent hardcore. <laughs> like Negative Bros broke up, Minor Threat broke up, all these bands broke up, Urban Waste broke up, The Abuse broke up. I was like, you know what? Let's just sing a straight, a message of straight edge, which is like a very, it will contribute to the community, whether people like it or not. It's, it's a good thing. And let's just sing that and, and write just good classic hardcore songs. We wanted to keep hardcore in its very genuine, purest form. <laughs> When I first saw Youth of Today, or no, I, my friend her, had the seven inch of Youth Today at this kind of moment, and it just looked super powerful. Like it had this, you know, black and white image with black, white, and red, which is so powerful. And it's all handmade looking. The songs were all slogans, and just the music was absolutely primitive sounding, like AF was to me, or Negative Approach was. It was like hitting every single musical cue that I wanted and every sort of message that, I mean, off my back, get off my back, your expectations are too much, like, get the fuck off my back. Like, that really spoke to me more than talking about, you know, uh, acid rain or the kind of subjects that metal bands were talking about. Like, I didn't give a shit about that. For me, it was, it was a game changer. Um, first, you know, aesthetically, you, you saw the seven inch, and that grainy black and white, um, almost like a, a TV out of focus and like, you know, raised face and it just was strong. And that was like such a, a punk aesthetic, that simple, I did this myself at, in like fucking school, you know, like with a copy machine. Here was a man saying like, you know, basically preaching universal tolerance and love, you know, definitely putting aside things that are destructive to oneself or to society, you know, and definitely taking strong stances against racism and sexism and peer pressure to drink and do drugs and, and all that stuff. 